I'm heading deep into the Scottish wilderness to spend the night in a remote mountain cabin. Come along for the adventure. We're well into winter now and it's about 2 degrees Celsius outside and it's meant to get down to about minus 3 tonight so it's definitely going to be cold but the bothy I'm heading to has a stove so I should be able to get a fire going and hopefully warm myself up a bit. The area that I'm in right now is the southern uplands of Scotland and from the past couple of times that I've been to this area it's just so many farms just all surrounding me just endless farmland so i've got a feeling i'm going to be seeing a lot of these guys and a lot of these to try and keep them in well good looks like a bit of incline to start the walk off but look at these blue skies absolutely amazing the forecast for today's weather looks pretty good it is meant to rain overnight, but that shouldn't matter if I'm in the bothy. And then again, tomorrow morning's actually to be quite nice. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I began the ascent along a farmer's track, and with dark skies behind me, I was happy to be heading towards the good weather. This is quite a nice area. I'm basically just following this Land Rover track, and I think it skirts round these hills in front of me here. And then the bothy will be somewhere over in this direction. For those that aren't from the UK, or don't know what a bothy is, whenever I say bothy, it basically just means a mountain cabin slash shelter that is completely free to stay in. And it's usually like a, an old ruin of a house or something that's done up by the Mountain Bothy Association and kept in good shape. And there's loads of them scattered about Scotland and England and usually the most remote and inaccessible places. I continued on, and with the blue skies and luscious green grass, it was hard to believe that it was winter. This is a really cool path, with this valley down to my left. Just loads of wee bridges heading over the river there, it's really cool. I really hope this bothy isn't full. When I looked at it online, I think there's only like two or three spaces to sleep. We're getting there. I can see some ruins up ahead. So these ruins up ahead here are not the Bothy. It is actually further up and into that big valley on the left hand side there. Still a wee bit to go. Imagine living there. That is absolutely mental. So remote here. Must have been so hard to get things to their house. And to just go anywhere. They must have had some neighbours to be fair. I headed past some more old ruins and soon enough I could see the bothy up ahead standing alone with hills on all sides. There is. That's the bothy just there. Not too far to go. That is beautiful, the surroundings. We are currently up at about 400 metres of elevation. And they say you lose a degree of temperature every 100 metres. So if it's minus three down in the valley bottom, it's going to be sort of minus six, minus seven up here. So yeah, cold one tonight. That's perfect. A water source right next to the bothy. So I won't run out of water. That's good. Moment of truth. See what we're working with. I think this is the main room. And to the left here. Quite dark in here already. Oh yeah. There's the stove. A couple of chairs. It's actually a lot nicer than some of the other bothies. Loads of pictures. Some leftover firewood here as well. I brought my own firewood, but... Maybe be able to top it up. And just in here, beside the front door, is the sleeping platform. So yeah, I mean, look at the size of that. Absolutely tiny. <laughs> Definitely get like two or three in there. But yeah, as you see, it's like sort of raised off the ground, which is good. I was wondering what this wee thing is, but I'm pretty sure it just goes into, yeah, 
It's just a sleeping platform in there. So it gets dark at about four o'clock this time of year. So the first thing I'm gonna do is head outside and get some water whilst I can still see. Let's go. This is genuinely one of my least favorite things to do when I'm camping. This filter <laughs> takes so long. Even when I clean it, it still takes absolutely ages. So, I'll be back tomorrow when this is full. <laughs> Finally all done. So this is Burleywag Bothy, and it's an old sheep farm, and I think it's still used by shepherds on the odd occasion. You can see the pens just behind me. And it's an absolutely beautiful location. It's very remote. It's about half three right now, and I can just see the sun setting in front of me. So I think I'm gonna head inside, get my sleeping mat set up, because I think I've got it all to myself. Quite dark in here already. I'm gonna get this lantern put up. Hopefully, get a bit of light in here. I'm gonna get some tea now. It's starting to get quite cold. My hands are really cold, so a nice hot drink will definitely warm me up. Great use of the emergency tissues. How have I managed to make such a mess? Oh, that is nice. So warm. Taste test. Yeah, it's good. As you can see, there's still a bit of light outside. So it's about four o'clock right now. It'll probably be pitch black at like five. So I'll think I'll leave it a couple hours before I stick the fire on. Wait until it gets really cold. Don't want to waste the only log I've brought. I may as well enjoy the last bit of that sunset outside with my tea. That is really nice. It's like a orangey pinky color. That is pretty beautiful. Oh. It's not warm though, so <laughs> I'm gonna head inside. It's about quarter past five now and it's pitch black outside, so I'm gonna make my dinner. I've just got a, what is it, it's chicken mushroom pot noodle. Nothing special, but do the trick. Oh, that's so nice, it's so warm. Let's do a taste test. Tastes exactly like a pond, <laughs> but any warm food is, is nice when it's this cold. I think I'm just going to enjoy this and then maybe see about getting a fire going because it's pitch black outside and starting to get pretty cold. Never used one of these before, but it seems pretty self explanatory. You just put it in and then light fire to the ends. 
Should be easy enough. this place up you actually get a pretty decent bit of heat from this fire you can definitely feel it starting to warm up the room so I think I'm just gonna sit here watch a film and enjoy the warmth this is really cozy this is fun. Hey everyone. Well, it's about half eight, so there's enough brightness for me to make my way back home. It was just me and the bothy again last night, so that's twice that I've stayed in a bothy and both times it's been just me, which is a good thing, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna head home. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have and you wanna see more like it, feel free to subscribe. It's completely free and it really helps me out. And I'll hopefully see you next week for another adventure.